Kapag may lindol? Yes, may lindol. Kapag may lindol, ang unang tanong ng karamihan, gaano ito kalakas at saan ang epicenter? So, paano ba natin i-approximate ang epicenter ng isang earthquake using a geometrical figure? Kung gusto mong malaman, keep on watching. Good day everyone, it's me, Sir John. In this video, I'm going to discuss the first type of the conic section, which is the circle. And last time, we talked about the introduction to conic section. At kung hindi mo pa ito napapanood, just click the link in the description box para mas ma-appreciate mo ang topic natin. Alright, so at the end of this lesson, you will be able to first define what is a circle, determine the center and the radius of the circle given its equation and vice versa. And lastly, Graph the circle in the coordinate system using a graphing calculator. So, let's begin. When the plane cuts the cone horizontally or parallel to the base of the cone, then circle is made and we can classify it as a special kind of ellipse. Again, we define a circle as a set of all points x and y in the plane that are equidistant to a fixed point called center. Say for example, these are the points that were being represented by x and y and their distance doon sa isang specific na point is pare-pareho. At ang tawag natin sa point na yon ay center and we represent it as C, H, and K. And connecting all these points, we now have a circle. So let P be a point on the circle and the distance from point P to point C is what we call the radius, in symbol R. So we have the standard equation, also known as the center radius form of the circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to R squared. Pakitandaan po yung ating standard equation kasi ito ang gagamitin natin all throughout the lesson. Okay? So, ang general equation is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Kung natatandaan nyo yung lesson natin last time, circle ang equation if masatisfy niya ang condition na a is equal to c. Yung numerical coefficient ng x squared at saka ng y squared is equal. At pag-uusapan din natin ang shortcut, para mahanap ng mas mabilis ang center at radius ng isang circle. For the first example, find the center and the radius of the circle in the equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. Whenever the given is in general form, to find the standard equation, gagamit tayo ng completing the square method. So, ano ba yung mga steps on how to do the completing the square method? So, the first step is to isolate the constant term to the right side of the equation if there are any. For instance, we have negative 12. So, ililipat natin sa kabila, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y is equal to 12. Second, regroup natin ang mga terms, si x para kay x, si y para kay y lang. And maglagay tayo ng space after each linear term. So kung dalawa ang nilagay sa left, dalawa din ang ilalagay sa right to make it balance. So we have x squared plus 4x plus blank plus y squared minus 6y plus blank is equal to 12 plus blank plus blank. Third, kuhanin natin ang coefficient ng linear terms, then divide natin by 2 tapos square natin. Like, 4 divided by 2, that is 2, squared is equal to 4. And para naman sa y, we have negative 6 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 3, squared, we have 9. Ngayon, i-fill natin ang space na pinrovide kanina, we now have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 12 plus 4 plus 9. Lastly, I-simplify natin since meron tayong mga perfect square trinomials for x and y, we get 
x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 25. Ngayon, meron na tayong standard equation ng circle. All we need to do is to identify the center and the radius. So, ang center natin ay negative 2 and 3. Pero, saan to galing? Sa standard equation, ang laging kasama ni x ay si h at y ay si k. So, dito, lagi nyo lang tatandaan na kukuhanin natin ang kabaligtaran na sign ng constants. So, plus 2 siya dito, magiging negative 2. At minus 3, kaya magiging positive 3 na siya. Okay? For the radius, ang 25 dito is the value of r squared. Gusto lang nating makuha ay yung value ng r. Therefore, square root natin both sides, we have r is equal to 5. So, hindi na natin consider yung negative na sign kasi wala namang negative na radius. Okay? Ngayon, try natin ang shortcut. Para sa center, we have C, negative D over 2, negative E over 2. So, heto ang D natin at heto ang value ng E. By substitution, we have negative 4 over 2 and negative times negative 6 over 2. So, kung simplify natin, negative 4 over 2, that is equal to negative 2. And negative times negative 6, that is equal to 6, divided by 2, that is equal to 3. Ibig sabihin, ang center natin ay negative 2 and 3. Para naman sa radius, let's use the formula r is equal to the square root of h squared plus k squared minus f. Since na-identify na natin ang h and k, heto naman ang value ng f. So by substitution, we have r is equal to the square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared minus negative 12. So be careful lalo na sa mga sign. So by simplifying this equation, we get r is equal to the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 12. So again, 4 plus 9 plus 12, that is equal to 25. So we have r is equal to the square root of 25, which is r is equal to 5. Mas madali, di ba? Magagamit ito kapag ang given ay nasa general equation. What about the example number 2? Find the standard equation of the circle with the center at negative 1 and 5 that passes through negative 4 and negative 6. So in this example, yung given lang natin ay ang center point which is negative 1 and 5 and the point on the circle that is negative 4 and negative 6. So we need to determine the radius first. Again, using the standard equation, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And yung value ng ating h and k ay negative 1 and 5 respectively, while yung x natin that is equal to negative 4 and yung y that is equal to negative 6. So we have negative 4 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 6 minus 5 squared is equal to r squared. So we simplify muna natin yung operation doon sa unang parenthesis. We get negative 4 plus 1 squared. So negative 6 minus 5 that is equal to negative 11 squared is equal to r squared. Negative 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 3 squared we get 9. And negative 11 squared equals 121 equals r squared. Therefore, 9 plus 121 equals r squared. Simply, 130 equals r squared. To get the value of r, square root natin both sides of the equation. That is, the square root of r squared is equal to the square root of 130. Which is equal to r is equal to the square root of 100. 30. Since nahanap na natin ang radius, we can now proceed in determining the standard equation. So same thing, is substitute natin ang mga given, we have x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to the square root of 130 squared. Simplify natin, we get x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 130. 
and this is the center radius form of the circle. So to transform this equation into general equation, expand lang natin yung mga binomial expressions natin, x plus 1 squared, that is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So for y minus 5 squared, that is equal to y squared minus 10y plus 25 equals 130. Ngayon, tanggalin natin ang mga parentheses and transpose natin yung positive 130 to the other side. We get x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 minus 130 equals 0. So yung third step natin is to arrange the terms according to their exponents and variables. So uunahin muna natin yung x bago yung y. Okay? So in here, we get x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 10y plus 1 plus 25 minus 130 equals 0. Combine like terms, ang pwede lang naman nating pagsamahin dyan is yung mga constant terms. 1 plus 25 minus 130, that is equal to negative 104. Therefore, meron tayong x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 10y minus 104 is equal to 0. And again, this is the general equation of the circle with the center at negative 1 and 5 that passes through negative 4 and negative 6. Sa part na to, ituturo ko kung paano ginagamit ang graphing calculator. Since distance learning tayo, most of the teachers kapag nagpapa-activity sila, ang nire-require nila ay soft copy. So para maging advanced at STEM talaga ang dating ng mga outputs natin, we will use the Desmos na pwedeng gamitin sa PC at sa mga mobile phones. You can download it for free sa Google Play and App Store, so click nyo na yung link na nasa description box. So let's start. User-friendly naman siya, so pag-open mo ng app, heto na yung bubungad sa'yo. So, type mo lang dito yung mga equation. So, yung example number 1 natin. So, pwede na kahit yung standard equation yung ilagay. So, after that, makukuha nyo na ang graph and pwede mo nang screenshot then attach nyo na sa activity ninyo. So, yung tanong kanina, paano ba natin i-approximate yung epicenter ng isang lindol using the concept of circle? So say for example, an earthquake was detected 400 kilometers from station A. The same earthquake was also detected 350 kilometers from station B, wherein ang distance from station A to B is 500 kilometers. So again, how do we approximate the epicenter's location? And based on illustration, meron tayong mga radius for A and B. And to make a circle, i-rotate lang natin ang endpoint. As you can see in the graph, this simply means na yung earthquake's epicenter is approximately near the intersection of the two circles. So that concludes our discussion for today. I hope I imparted something new to you today. So have a great day everyone and thank you for listening.